Hello, folks. For this round's Fundy Atheist Legend, our subject is the Dark Ages. And no doubt you've had this shoved in your face more than once. There was a time when religion ruled the world. They called it the Dark Ages. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, while that little slogan may make for a good bumper sticker, it makes for pretty poor history. The saying was popularized not by a serious historian, but by this woman, Ruth Hermans Green, a fundy atheist with no relevant credentials in history. With the origins of that bumper sticker fodder in mind, let's frame this and then ask some questions. A fact that all agree on is that the period in question was from around 400 to 1000 AD, give or take 50 to 100 years either way. The first question is, what did Christianity or religion have to do with starting and continuing the Dark Ages? Well, nothing. The so-called Dark Ages began for a wide variety of reasons, most of them having to do with invasions by barbarian tribes and incursions of plague. The second question is, how dark were the Dark Ages? Well, you can get a partial answer from the fact that these days historians call it the Early Middle Ages. Beyond that, there's a certain range of opinion. Many historians say that they weren't dark at all, and they note a wide variety of factors explaining why. On the other hand, there are also some historians who say, yeah, they were dark, but that's compared to the Roman Empire, and they'll cite some points in their favor. There's one thing these two schools of thought have in common, though. Neither one blames Christianity for the Dark Ages happening in the first place, or as being a negative influence in that period. In fact, they see it instead as, as one author puts it, the most important framework within which late antique culture survived. That leads to another popular graphic used by Fundy Atheists, one that suggests that we'd all be living the life of the Jetsons by now if it hadn't been for the Dark Ages. Well, no again. The fact is that while the Romans prior to the early Middle Ages had certain technological advances in agriculture, they had no interest in using them, because they had slave labor to do the work. They also weren't interested in allowing the barbarians all around them having those advances. So, while the early Middle Ages may not have had as much technological innovation as it might have, that was for a good reason. It was an age when application of existing technology, which the Romans had but didn't use, was a priority. And without that, there couldn't have been any more innovation later on. One final point. Fundy atheists like Green seem to assume that they were called dark because religion was in charge. As they see it, there was a lot of stupidity and superstition around. But the term Dark Ages originated because we had relatively few written historical sources from that time. In other words, because we were in the dark about a lot of history. Religion actually didn't rule the world, and it certainly didn't cause or encourage ignorance. In fact, it was the church that kept and preserved the great works of the pagan authors like Tacitus. In the vid description, you'll find links to more information and my sources for this presentation. Some nice summaries showing that the mythology of the Dark Ages goes back to this guy, Edward Gibbon. And needless to say, he's way out of date. Out of date? What do you mean? He only died 215 years ago. This is good stuff. Yep, you can see why we keep having these problems, can't you? See you next time. <laughs>